activism uh, and running a non-governmental organization. And God is directing me towards government. Mm. <laughs> so I'll come and learn a few things from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, before I introduce our team from Nigeria, I just want to say two things. I am very grateful to God that we came to Uganda and we saw the things we have seen. Two things I have observed. One is the representation of women in the parliament. Mm. I am so impressed. I am so impressed because honestly in these last days, you know, um, in the end time move of God, women are going to be in the front. Yes. Because it's about the lady elect and her children. Mm. Towards the end of 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, you will see letters that are addressed to the lady elect and her children. And so I'm excited about the representation of women in this parliament. Unfortunately, we cannot say the same thing for our own country, Nigeria. Nigeria has less than 9% representation of women in parliament, actually 6%. 29 women to about 440 men. And recently, the parliament rejected five bills for more women inclusion and representation. Can you imagine? So we're trusting God that there will be a turnaround. We're going to fight it until they give way in Jesus' name. Amen. The second thing I have learned this morning is the fact that this altar has been on for 20 years. Wow, I was so blessed by that. And for me, that represents the key and why the government is working in Uganda. And these are the two takeaways we're going to take home. Somehow, we have come, we have seen, we have learned, and we're taking it back home to implement it. And I know God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. You that have gone ahead of us in those areas, please pray for us. Continue to pray for us and release the grace that God has given to you in this house. In Jesus name. Amen. Without wasting too much time because I know you're all going to go to work, um, I'd like to introduce the team, starting from Reverend Emmanuel Ogidiolu, who is the pastor of Christ Triumphant Ministry, the general overseer and founder. This ministry is based in Enugu, which is the eastern part of Nigeria. Next on the list is Pastor Daniel Joseph. Jobs, which is Plateau State, and he runs a prayer ministry called City Watchers. And they've been doing an incredible job in Jobs for the past 30 years. Um, next on the list is Pastor Botsha Gang. He's an associate pastor. He's an associate pastor of our ministry, and he works closely with me. Next with him is Reverend Musa al Convert who became a, a dynamite for Jesus Christ. You know when we convert, they really are on fire for God. And uh, God is using him mightily in the city of Just as well. And then um, right behind him is Reverend Angela Christ is King. She comes from Lagos and they have a prayer ministry with her husband. I remember the first time I went to their house in the U.S. In, 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 um, in Houston a couple of years ago. In their living room, they have this huge map of the world. And God has called them to pray for nations. And that's what they do full time. So they are prayer missionaries and we're so honored to have her in our midst. Next um, is um, Pastor Steve Ohina. in Nigeria, and he also leads a prayer ministry and pastors the church. His prayer ministry is called the Invaders, and they are doing a lot of work, plundering the kingdom of darkness. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then um, next to him is Caroline Okieze. She's a prayer ministry for and prayer minister for Vegas. She also came along with Reverend Angela, um, Christ is King. The third person from Lagos 
Where is he? Okay. <laughs> there, Pastor Joshua, Evangelist Joshua, is also from Lagos. And um, then we have Pastor Steve Nkemjika. He's from the Tuko. He also runs a prayer ministry, make money ministry. The exciting thing about about our team is that we came from different parts of Nigeria and I think that is very significant to be in Uganda at this time with this kind of constitution. Um, last but not the least, oh no, last but not the least, is um, Minister Teima Apollonia. <laughs> A former Assistant Controller of Immigration in Plateau State. She just retired two months ago and she said, what other thing to do than to come for a prayer meeting in Uganda. So we're so excited to have her. I don't know if I should go ahead and introduce Donna. I, I can do that. Okay, all right. So I'll leave that one for you. So thank you for having us. We're so blessed. And we, we pray that what God is doing in your needs will spread to Nigeria in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I request.